Hello, Paul Lomson from bushcraftcanada.com. Okay, I've got another <clears throat> new Condor tool from the Mountain Pass range, and this is the uh, Condor Mountain Pass X. We just had these in. I think they've been out a little while. This is another Bre Jason Breeden design. Very nice too, actually. Um, so you can see it's a monolithic axe, you know, a one-piece axe. And uh, these have a lot of advantages, actually. It's a few disadvantages, but uh, you know, the strength is a huge advantage on these. You've got that four mil thick stock here. Uh, so 4.5 mil thick stock. So very, very strong axe indeed, you know, and the weight of the axe, it's about 30 ounces overall. Uh, you know, it does help with the <clears throat> impact energy when you're using this as well. So, you know, that's uh, there's two good positives there. The downside is, of course, though, you do have to, they are heavier. It's about 30 ounces, so you've got to carry that around. So, uh, you know, they are, you know, quite a bit heavier than a, a traditional axe. Uh, but you do get that strength, strength advantage, and that, that can be a great advantage in the field. You're not having to worry about, you know, rehandling them or breaking them or really damaging the handle. You'd have to go really out of your way to damage these. So like I say, it's 4.5 mil thick spine, and this has the canvas Mikata slabs on it all the way up. It's designed so you can get a couple of different grips on it, and it's a very comfortable axe in the hand, actually. It's a nice bit of width in the handle, uh, and depth too, and so it does feel comfortable, you know, I say got average size hands, and it fits very nicely in the hand there. Feels very comfortable as well. Um, the head is about uh, 4.25 inch cutting face and you can see it's got a single bevel here so you know nice and easy to uh, maintain in the field and these are good cutting axes you know um, be great for sort of bushcraft camp work that kind of thing maybe even field dressing too uh, using the uh, tumble finish 1090 1075 sorry high carbon steel very good steel for an axe actually very tough steel and uh, you know it's uh, you know they haven't got it hardened up really high so it's going to have a pretty durable edge on this as well. So good strong steel and a good durable edge. Like I say, nice and easy to maintain. Does have a lanyard hole here as well. But like I say, yeah, 30 ounces, but it does feel, it's a well-balanced ax actually, I would say. And uh, you know, these monolithic axes, there's quite a few different types out there. You know, they are very tough, long life axes. And generally speaking, actually, <clears throat> I mean, it does depend. Some of the balance on some of them isn't so good, but actually this is a, this is a good one. Um, also comes with a nice quality head cover, actually. And again, uh, you know, um, Condor leather works very good. Nice thick leather there. You can see that stitched. Has a belt loop on the back there. And, uh, you know, it's very nicely done. I think the, uh, like I say, Condor leather work is, uh, is very good. So the nice quality axe, you know, if you're looking for a good camp axe, and particularly if you want this, you like this monolithic design, definitely, you know, these definitely are worth a look. Um, you know, it's a nice balance, 14 inches overall length. Um, so nice, you know, it's, uh, you've got a nice sort of leverage on the handle and uh, like a nice wide cutting face, quite a flared head actually. So uh, yeah, very nice design, comfortable axe to use, very strong, good quality materials. You know, a little bit of weight there. 1075 is a steel you, you uh, have to look after a bit. You know, so don't just store it damp and been using it and it gets wet. Uh, obviously, you're going to have to dry and dry it all off. But, uh, you know, I think overall, very, very nice design and a uh, well-built X. So you can see them on our website, bushcraftcanada.com. Just have a look under Condor Knife and Tool and you'll see them there. As always, you can just email me, paul at bushcraftcanada.com.